It's game time, baby. Guys, we're ready. We are ready. Where's your cup? Two guys, two cups. Oh, oh, let's go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is the Elf Experience. My name is Jancy. This is my boy Roos. And today, we're gonna give you guys a review on the Poet by New Holland Brewing Company. So it says oats bring a creaminess and a soft mouthfeel to roasty malt. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So I don't know what the fuck that said, but. <laughs> It says that this beer goes good with Listen to this carefully. mushrooms, beef, cheese, and chocolate. The fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a 5.8. 5.8. Show them the bottle. Bam. From the looks of it, what do you imagine the taste is going to be like? Go pitch black. <laughs> Creaminess and soft mouth feel to rich. Roasty malt. Here. It might be super smooth. Brewed and bottled in New Holland Brewing Company in Holland. Where is it located? Holland, Michigan. <laughs> you thought it was in Holland. <laughs> Holland, Michigan. <laughs> That's how they get you. Alright, let's open this up. Alright, what color do you think it's gonna be? Just like. Alright, what color do you think it's gonna be? Pitch black. Uh, I think it's gonna be a light brown. It's gonna be pitch black for me. <laughs> Pitch black. Oh shit, no, that's fucking pitch black. <laughs> hey, we're about to drink some coke. Holy, check this out. Oh shit. Dude, check out the smell. Let's go. <laughs> Expected, it, but it's kind of, it smells good. It smells like creamy, rich character. This reminds me of a uh, Boston Lager. Boston Lager? Boston Lager. I don't like that smell. You don't like that smell? No, I don't know. If I knew it wasn't a beer smell, I like it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Initial reaction. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Like, here's the thing. Like, I don't like it, but it's not bad. Like, That's my description. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess because we've tasted a lot of bad beers. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like... It's like, eh, it's bad, but... You can still, you can drink it. Alright, so what would you say it tastes like? Stout. I don't know what that means, but stout. Whatever, you guys might know what that means. You know what? What's crazy? It kind of does taste like pop. If you take out the bitterness, there's like that creamy feel to it. Alright, so for me, at the beginning, it's that strong caramel flavor, right? But then like towards the end, like it makes sense why it says like roasty. It tastes like roasted almonds. A little like smooth flavor roasted almonds. Just like based on the flavor, I would imagine drinking this when I'm like fucking old, like next to, you know, my fire, in like a fucking rocking chair, just waiting for my thoughts. I'm scared. It's like, holy shit, that, that went so dark. <laughs> when it's dark as this fucking beer, I was imagining it. It was like, nice fire, you with the blanket, just chilling there, waiting for my fucking death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dim lit bar, chilling there. I oh, fuck that. I don't imagine myself <laughs> thinking this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I turned real dark real fast. <laughs> this is what uh, you're gonna associate this beer with. <laughs> that sucks for that brand. Alright, so 1 out of 5, what would you give it? 1, 2, 3, 1.5. <laughs> like the flavor is a little strong. You know what? What's crazy? For some reason, I imagine myself drinking this in Ukraine like bar that's like on the ground bar with the walls made out of brick like a castle wooden tables the wood is this thick mm -hmm. there's a bar over there like this this is like medieval kind of feel to it mm. i would drink this beer if i was fucking what like in ukraine no 1500s oh 1500s <laughs> dude in general it's not like darker in a bad way but like darker mood beer it's like by them all right <laughs> now let's connect it back to the alpha <laughs> Health experience. So it's excitement, laughter, freedom, friendship, and adventure. Holy shit, like this is. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Adventure. adventure. It doesn't fit in perfectly, because it's not a very adventurous thing, but. But like if you're driving, taking a long trip somewhere, you're just taking the road to whatever it leads, you stop by a dim lit bar, you order this beer. Just drink it and contemplate on life. Mysterious. Mm -hmm. Dark mode. Yeah. Here. The color definitely sets the tone. Yeah. yeah I'll be chilling, you know, next to the fire. Just like contemplating about life. Yeah. I like it. What do you call myself? <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we're gonna brighten the mood. <laughs> yeah, really let's talk about tits. 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 I could see myself drinking this at least like once a month. Just for like the flavor, because it's so strong. Like, let's say you have like a bunch of like fruity and good beers, and, and then you just have this one to like reset your taste buds. And it's not bitter to the point where like. <laughs> Where you are in your deathbed. <laughs> it's kind of like drinking like an old fashioned. I'll tag along with you once a month thing. I'm down with it. And the name kind of pretty cool. The poet. Now we get the name. Just showing it. Contemplating. Relaxing. Getting drunk. Getting drunk. Getting poetic. Alright, guys. Peace out.